Good evening and welcome to how to make a budget model railway part two. Um, I thought I'd just talk a little bit about locos and rolling stock because this is obviously the other major part of doing a model railway and it's really quite an expensive part. Although a new goods wagon can be as little as eight or ten pound and perhaps four or five pound on eBay which doesn't sound too bad you're going to need five five or six of them and so you're already getting up towards the 30 40 pound mark possibly 50 pound mark just for a few goods wagons coaches um, again between five and ten pounds second hand and up to 50 or 60 new and locos obviously even the cheapest hornby loco is 28 pound so it's a fairly expensive side of the hobby so i've managed to do this um, little exercise to see what what you could get for for not very much money now i am very fortunate if you really must make little snodgrass or, you know on the great western railway in 1962 you're not going to be able to buy your rolling stock and locos cheap because you'll have to pay to get what you want and actually even if you just want a basic steam train set it, it can still be quite expensive i'm very fortunate um I like uh, diesel locos, I quite like European outline locos, and I like HO rather than OO. So that obviously puts me in the market for things that not everybody wants. So just as an example, I thought I'd show you a few of the things I've purchased um, and give you some idea of how cheaply you could put a nice little set together. Okay, so let's have a look at coaches. One of the advantages of HO is they're considerably smaller, which means that you can get bigger stations in. These are Lima. Um, they've also got the continental couplings I like. Um, quite basic coaches, but they roll really smoothly and these are very smart. They've got all the lining on them. Nice little coaches. I paid £1.25 each for those as part of a job lot. And job lots are a great way of getting um, the locos and the rolling stock you want. So these are, as I say, two very nice little coaches. That's £2.50. And Douglas will do his usual editing in a minute and we'll add this up as we go along. So I move those out of the way. Now at the same time, on the same job lot as I got with those, I got a Lima diesel shunter, which has a chassis. Most of you will know these, these Lima shunters, freelance shunters. And I got some spare coach bodies. And what I've done is, I want a little rail bus on my layout. I like rail buses. So this is a nice little scratch built rail bus. I've shortened the coach. I've added some windows and some lights at the front runs beautifully if you clean up the lima shunters clean the wheels clean the contacts add loads of weight runs beautifully and the cost of that was um again two pound fifty if you think it'll cost you seven pound just for the day pole kit of the body and you'll still need a, a loco so back to the rolling stock these are mahano and some of you that have seen the first video know I, I quite like my mahano now these wagons actually come in garish colours, bright yellow, bright blue, um, and therefore it's possible to pick them up for very little money. Uh, I actually picked them up for um, those four there, cost me £5.50. Um, they're really nice, nice continental couplings again. When you repaint them, especially if you use nice paint, and I use the Humbrol RC colour range, once that's weathered, that'll look as good as any modern um, wagon and, and again as I say they cost me £5.50 for all of those. Again as part of the job lot, the same job lot, I've got a couple of fuel tankers. Now I know yes it's got petrol written on the side and they're green but again once they're painted up and weathered they will look absolutely fine um, and now I'll have a nice little group of rolling stock, goods wagons and coaches. So what am I going to do to pull all this? Well, the first lucky break I got, um, you've heard me mention Classic Rail before um, at Tyshurst and he does lots of locos and so on. Um, this is again a Mahano Bobo Loco. Rather nice, it, I've got the handrails and everything for him, they just need fixing. And that cost me the grand sum of two pounds because it wasn't working very well. Came home, um, gave it a good clean, chucked a huge amount of power through it so I wired it up directly to a 14 volt controller, which I wouldn't recommend, but it does at least get the motor going. Cleaned everything up. They're great locos, these. They're, they're all wheel drive, all wheel pickup, uh, lots of weight, and that runs beautifully right down to a slow speed. But it does need a little bit of a repaint, um, but it's a lovely loco. However, 
My pride of place goes to this rather impressive, can you zoom in a bit? Bobo Loco. Again, um, let's, let's move. Again, uh, Mahano. Uh, an even better runner than the other one. They weigh a ton. Um, these were produced by Mahano, which is a, a Slovenian, a Yugoslavian um, company. They're actually American locos painted to represent European, so that's why they're, they're wrong on all sorts of counts. However, they're actually exactly the same. This one, I've found photos of these looking exactly the same as that in Russia. They were made in Portugal. The British made them and exported them. So the fact that they're actually American outline um, doesn't matter. Now this cost me 99p. It would have cost me five pound postage, but the guy lived locally. I went and collected it, so I paid 99p. So you're looking at two large Bobo diesels there. You're not talking about little Hornby shunters. These are large Bobo diesels, and the two of those cost me three pound. So when you look at all of these put together, and you can get a bit of a view there. All of those, so you've got two coaches, four goods wagons, two fuel tankers, two locos and a rail bus, came to 15 pounds. That's 15 pound. Um, now that's enough to run a fairly serious layout. You've got goods wagons, coaches, rail buses, locos, and that's 15 pound. Um, and I think that's, you know, that's quite something. If you, if you added those to the 35 pound layout, you could build that layout and run all this rolling stock and it would cost you £50, uh, which is the cost of one coach um, if you go and buy a new Hornby one. So um, hopefully that's of interest. As I said earlier, I don't know this is something that people like. If you do, please leave comments. I've had two subscriptions. Thanks, guys. That's great. Um, continue to subscribe, but please leave comments. Let me know whether this is something that people are interested in or not. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe.